this video is to show you how I'm basically doing this in Ableton. So right now it's pretty boring. I'm just dragging the clips in one by one and making sure they're aligned to the same time. Um, I did notice while doing this that it generates a .asd file and mind you I have not taken a single Ableton tutorial um, so I couldn't tell you what an ASD file is but I'm pretty sure that it's it's like a, a cached groove analysis or maybe a clip slice or something a slice point cache anyway so here we are and um, just gonna hit play you can see the BPM is 161 Uh, if you could hear the kicks track, you could see that they sound pretty random. So I'm going to take the snare and just move it over by one fourth, and that will be perfect. Unlike what I just said in the, the group me chat, the bass didn't have to be nudged. It was actually the snare and everything else pretty much stays where it is. The kicks, however, I don't know what to do with this. Um, you can see the track is considerably longer than the other ones. It ends at 178. The other ones end like earlier. So it looks like I think Ableton is like trying to warp it or something. Um, so, you know, what if I drag that? It looks like it's just moving the, the it's just cropping it, which is not what I want. Um, and then when I adjust the segment BPM, that's also not what I want because that just adjusts the first segment. Um, so I think I'm, what I'm going to have to do is just play with that a little bit more and get back to you about what to do with the kicks. Or I'm assuming you know what to do with the kicks to, to get it all aligned, or it's probably already aligned for you. <clears throat> and so while it's in situ on your side, you probably don't have to do what I need to do. Um, so. Still sounding pretty random, so what I'm going to do is just disable it and move on. Pretty satisfied with this, so I'm going to go ahead and um, start to add the swing. This time I'm going to add a swing 8-99.agr, which I think AGR stands for Ableton Groove. And I'm going to set the quantize all the way up to 100. I'm going to drag it onto all the relevant tracks. Um, and you'll see that it does just the right thing. Although this is not the groove track that I'm going with, it's just an extreme groove. It's a little bit harsh. It's almost a little bit too late for me, so I'm going to switch over to 8-75, which um, swings just a tad bit less. 
it's a little bit uh, truer to the original composition. But I'll let this play out just a little bit. So here's the swap the groove thing. If I hit that, it seems like it's whatever I choose is going to replace all the applications of it everywhere. It's a pretty nice little button, nice little feature. And now it's doing the right thing. Uh, this wouldn't necessarily work unless you dragged it onto pretty much all the instruments, uh, everything but the vocals. So if you drag it onto some things but not others, then of course it's going to start to sound muddy. There you have it.